Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm going to be sharing a junk journal with you. This is from all the junk mail I've collected in the last month and a few bits and pieces that I've found in my drawers and things just to add to it and give a more decorative kind of look but it's all pretty much junk or leftovers or just things I've found along the way. So this is the front cover and it is made out of an envelope. It's uh, an envelope that's been posted to me. As you can see um, I do have the address covered by something I've stuck over it. The wrap is made from the top of the shopping bag that I've been making my fabric books from at the moment. So that is a scrap also and also this yellow tie I'm not sure what that came off it has these funny little um, metal pieces on the end so I've used that I've glued it and stapled it just for extra strength I've got an old matte piece an old um, fabric iron-on and just a bit of fabric with a printout on it for the tassel on the corner here I've used an old Civic video card you know when you used to go to the video shops well that's what that is and there's just a clothing tag and I found a little picture in my drawer so I stuck that on uh, one of these sparkles that I very rarely use um, especially in a bright color so this kind of journal is excellent for using all those sorts of things my tassel here is made from a potato chip packet it's that plastic packaging uh, I have a little plastic cap at the top of it and then a bead and then this is a paper clip I think they called them paper clip beads and that's also out of the potato chip packet so and this little metal part was also taken off a clothing tag so that is there's my binding down the side there it has three signatures so I'm just going to try and keep it in shot. So there's our, and that comes off. It's just like you can see, that's where the handles were of the bag. It's just a piece of hessian or burlap with these tied to the side there. And it's just a wrap around kind of journal on the inside of that flap. I have a milk label, a blueberry label, and two little plastic uh, tags that came off my son's uh, shoes they say volley but he didn't want them on them he wanted them plain black so I took them off and kept them and this is it it's really full this is the inside cover that's just a scrap bit of paper that I've made into a little flap there this was a I think it's off a gift card I bought a packet of um, secondhand gift cards a long time ago and I was looking through them. And this green one was there and that's just a clothing ta uh, earring tag on the top. Any clothing or earring tags have, more, have definitely more than likely come from both of my daughters because I just rarely buy clothes at the moment. Okay, so these tags here are all from Kiki K. Every time my daughter or I go near Kiki K, we go in there and they have these inspirational quotes on these um, pieces of paper. They're to advertise their workshops. That's a goals workshop there. I've used two different types of washi tape in this journal and that's it. I did have some flowers punched out on my desk, so I've just used them. They haven't been decorated. They're just daisy flowers. This is the packaging from some braid and just some scrap laces on the top there. Just some junk mail. We'll just go through. This is actually a printout that I made a few years ago now when I did my banner challenge. I printed a couple of sheets of these banners out just to show in my video the sort of thing I was talking about. And I found them the other day so I stuck them in here. And that's the other washi tape there envelope and in this I was practicing making these lovely little books um, inspired by I think it's Angie Barner that is just a card that I had in my drawer this is a paper bag that I also had in my drawer and this is the label of some glitter eyelash trim and I think 
Donna Gonzalez gave that to me. Thank you, Donna. And it's just a, a piece of book paper and some coffee paper in there. So I've put it in here because I, I was just playing around and I haven't actually made the ones I want yet. So pop that in there. That's just some stationery paper I had floating around, just an odd piece and an odd envelope. Somebody has sent me a card. It's got my name on it, so that's okay. But there's nothing in it. So I'll put that in there also. Just a clothing tag, a very thick one, and that's just from my cling wrap. Um, I saw this fold, I will put a link to it in the description box below. It was actually a gift card holder, but I stopped before the last fold and decided it would be nice inside a junk journal as a little pocket. So if you do one more fold, apparently it turns into a credit card or gift card holder. Oh, and inside that I've just got the packaging from some light globes that you can write on the back of. And there's an odd piece of photocopy paper because I keep that in my room to scribble on sometimes or just to, you know, draft out things. So there's a couple of those, just another clothing tag in there. And that is the packaging for my linen thread. That one's empty. <laughs> um, this is, oh okay, this is the census form. I've blocked all my details out. Um, when I first got the census form, I, I put it somewhere really safe and then I lost it. So I had to request another one. So this is the one that I kept apparently very safe. I found it afterwards. This is the uh, potato chip packet. My son has decided this is his new favourite. It's a nice healthy variety as well. Um, that's the back of an old exercise school book and that's just a, a, a tab probably off socks or something like that. So I've just made a pocket out of those potato chips. It's just some really nice paper I found at the op shop a little while ago and it's really nice so I thought I'd put these in here earring packaging, some odd bits of lace. Um, I don't really use purple lace so, you know, it's ideal in this book. Brochure, brochure, uh, off a packet of full scat papers. This butterfly I've had for years and years and years and I have used it for stencils as you can see um, in one way or another and I thought it was time it had its day so I just stuck it in there center there brochure just some tape off a package I saved from a while ago An odd word just um, same sort of thing back of the exercise book and a tag at the top on the potato chip packets uh, that's the other part of the census blocking out some clothing tag and another clothing tag brochure. A uh, ribbon my daughter had that the cat attacked so I saved the ends of it and just a little business card that I got in the planner box. That's the other side of that tuck and I've just got the light globe packaging and a little bit of glassine paper just so it will um, so it feels good. Just so it feels good. Uh, just a. Oh, what's wrong with that? Okay. Ooh. Um, that's just a clothing tag. I don't know why that's got sticky down there. There's no glue in that envelope. Um, that's got velvet on it. It's really, really pretty. And that was one my daughter left behind. And that's just some words. More of the banner, more of the brochure, a mushroom bag, that's just a barcode, and just I bought some fabric for quite some time ago now, and it's just came off the fabric. Another one of the quotes from Kiki K. I really like that for some reason, I just really like that, and it was a, I think it's from the electricity department. And it came a long, long time ago, and I kept it just because I liked the way that looked. 
just another clothing tag there and that's a, a wildlife business card one of my big pink things uh, just some scrap paper and some packaging off a notebook I bought a while ago photocopy paper flower I was practicing some stenciling I saw Yvonne Preston's video where she was doing some stenciling and I often keep pieces of cardstock or paper that I, I don't particularly like um, and I practice on those that way they're not going to waste so as you can see I sort of practiced a few things on that so a map piece this is a bag I had in my drawer it's a glassing bag I love I love the feel of it. Someone must have sent it to me. It's been stuck on something. But it is kind of ripped up. So I thought, well, I can put it in here because it's nice to sort of touch. And to see it is a pretty bag. So I'll put that in there. Now this is just some paper. My daughter started a new job and she got a new, she got her work shirt for it. Um, and this paper was in the packaging. And it's not like copy paper. It's kind of rough. So I kept that. That's just a an old Mother's Day card I thought I'd put in here. That was from the package of second hand cards I found. Brochure. Uh, just a business card once again from my planner box and that's the light globes packaging. Paper. That's soap box packaging. A little bit of book paper, sparkly butterfly that I wouldn't normally use a great deal and just a, a stick on tag thing that I found at the op shop, a package of those, so that goes in the envelope, um, map envelope, some more packaging from the exercise book and some Prima packaging tab up top there, this is a brochure my daughter brought back from Brisbane um, from the museum I haven't got anything in this envelope that's just a tag from the airport I think Kimmy B sent these to me quite some time ago and I just sort of they sat in a thing over here so I thought well I'm going to use them and put them in there a few of those in there an envelope I was practicing making out of the atlas paper just an envelope with some random just odd oddments of advertising and things paper. another thing that Kimmy B sent me as well thank you Kimmy uh, I think this is the piece in the light globe box it's just to sort of they put it in there so the light globe doesn't move around and that's the other end of the ribbon that the cat destroyed just a brochure that's the other part of the card that's the other part of the paper from my daughter's shirt but I had this piece of paper from it looks like it, it's had postage stamps in it it's really nice paper and it was in my drawer and that's all I had just that little piece so I wrapped it around there that's the other part of the practice sheet I was doing and I had cut that off some music paper at some stage because I didn't want the heading so I just put it here and a couple of bit buttons that's the last button I've made so I need to make some more button flowers uh, just a brochure from the post office isn't it funny when you're kind of hoping for interesting junk mail <laughs> brochure from the electricity department and um, that was some calligraphy stuff that they threw in as a freebie when I went to the op shop or thrift store once so I thought I'd use it in here it's nice strong paper it's another one of those banner printouts I had the Kiki K museum paper and some more earring packaging a paper bag the light globe, the other side of the box obviously, clothing tag, envelope. That is one end, I got a little tag.
tablet for myself and that was what it came in and then I just had this and cut that out I don't know probably came from a brochure mm, I think that was supposed to go in my pink page for my um, collections channel <laughs> it's probably why I had that mm, okay nice feeling paper envelope there's a the potato chips packet again and just a soapbox you can write on the other side of the soapbox and um, this is a, a just a little folder I saw and I can't remember where I saw it oh I'm sorry I completely forgot whose video I saw this on if anybody knows who came up with that please tell me and I'll put it down below but completely forgot who came up with that idea that's just scraps of paper with a bit of lace and that's just another part of the soapbox with the plastic tab on the top as well they've just introduced the um, what is it called MBN in Australia and our street has been connected for about a month now not that I've got it because I'm still waiting on my new modem for it but we're getting a lot of um, junk mail for people wanting you to sign up with them that's the other side of that pocket then there's just a clothing tag and I put that on and I didn't cut it off I may I may not um, that is that was just in my drawer I must have used this particular paper I think Irene might have sent me that paper thank you Irene and this little puppet was on it so I've just put that in there I thought that's rather cute to go in there uh, potato chips just more scrap pieces of paper that I've got um, envelope from my son's birthday he took the card and left the envelope pink paper there's the other part of my type tablet bag it does come undone to put things in there's just nothing in it so um that was with the sonnet the shakespeare's sonnet there was the title and just a couple of bits under it but not a lot and i just cut the one out that didn't have the rip through it so it's number four that is that's an RACQ um, sticker my daughter got but didn't want on the car so RACQ is the road attendants you know uh, I'm not sure what the actual what does it stand for I'll put it on the screen uh, envelope, paper bag with nothing in, museum brochure, Kiki K, uh, clothing tag that's from my daughter's new work shirt, so I just put it on there. And it's got thank you on the other side. So it's a thick one. The calligraphy. Uh, it's the soapbox. I just had that scraps of lace from covering my fabric book, so I put piece there and a little bow that I probably won't use anywhere else and that's a tissue box top I very rarely buy tissues so that was in my drawer I have a padded envelope I think that was what my washi yeah washi tape Australia came in it's just got a brochure from the science center this particular envelope I saw on Facebook I made it I don't particularly like it. I think it's a waste of a good, you know, big sheet of paper, but I didn't want to throw it away, so I put it in here. Just a word. Um, and that's it. That is my latest junk journal, and it's very fat. And I do like it, and I really enjoy making these. It makes me feel like I'm not waste as wasteful anymore because, you know, I'm reusing all my junk mail and things. It is a good feeling to do that. Uh, it doesn't cost me anything, 
which is lovely. It's, that's a really big plus these days when you're crafting, isn't it? It doesn't cost you anything because it's all free junk mail anyway. So, and I am using these books that I'm making. I, like I won't start this one, but I do plan on using all of them. And I plan on making an art journal next out of all my packaging. I've been watching... Is it Shannon Green? Yes. So I'll be making an art journal. I don't know when if I'll be doing the art straight away. I really need a wet area to do art, art stuff. Because um, this area, this is it. This is this is my workspace here. This is my little desk. There's my sewing machine, and this is the end. So as you can see, there's not a huge amount of room here to be painting and things. So when I get my craft room, that's when it'll happen. Okay, thank you for joining me today. Sorry about that. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye.